Hello everybody and welcome to our celebration assembly for our third week uh, in January and here's Martha, she's come to join us today for the story for the assembly. Hello. She's very excited uh, and I put in the newsletter this week which story I'm going to be reading and it's an absolutely beautiful story. I don't know if any of you have read it already. I'll hold it up so you can see. I'll take my fingers away so you can see who the author is. This has got the most beautiful illustrations so I hope I'll be able to share them with you while I'm reading the story. It's called The Boy, The Mole, The Fox and The Horse. And this is an amazing story. And the reason I've chosen this story this week is because it's all about being kind and being brave. And I think at the moment, when things are a bit challenging, we have to try really hard to be brave and try not to worry too much, but also to be kind. And when we say be kind, we have to be kind to our family and our friends, but also be kind to ourselves and just be happy in the knowledge that you're doing the very best that you can and try not to worry too much about everything else that's going on outside of your house at the moment because you're doing a really fantastic job and I'm super proud of all of you and the amazing home learning that you're doing so I hope you'll enjoy this story I won't be able to read all of it today it's a bit long so I'll probably read half today and maybe half next week in the assembly uh, at the beginning of the story the author so Charlie Maxey the author talked about why he's written the book and I just wanted to read you this paragraph from his introduction because I think it really explains why the book is so important so he says I hope this book encourages you, perhaps, to live courageously with more kindness for yourself and for others and to ask for help when you need it, which is always a brave thing to do. And I think that's really important. So asking for help is really brave and being kind is so important. And those are the key messages in this book. As I say, it's got beautiful illustrations, so I hope I can hold them up and you'll be able to see them. So it starts here with the boy. Hello. Are you going to hold the book, Martha? That's a good idea. If Martha holds the book, I can turn the pages, can't I? Although, maybe it's very difficult to do. There we go. I can pull it a little bit so you can see. I'm so small, said the mole. Yes, said the boy. But you make a huge difference. Come hold a little bit more. There you go, go. What do you want to be when you grow up? Kind, said the boy. What do you think success is? asked the boy. To love, said the mole. Well, hello. See what the mole's seen here? I've seen some cake. The mole likes cake. Do you have a favourite saying? asked the boy. Yes, said the mole. What is it? If at first you don't succeed, have some cake. I see. Does it work? Every time. Just a tiny taste. Martha, you like cake, don't you? Yes. One of Martha's favourite things to do is to bake cakes, isn't it? Mm. At the weekend. Which is your favourite cake? Chocolate cake. You like a chocolate <laughs> cake, don't you? I got you a delicious cake, said the mole. Did you? Yes. Where is it? I ate it, said the mole. Oh, but I got you another. Did you? Where is that one? The same thing seems to have happened. Oh dear. Mom's eating the cake. He likes cake too much. What do you think is the biggest waste of time? Comparing yourself to others, said the mole. I wonder if there is a school of unlearning. So what the mole's trying to say is, don't worry about what other people are doing or thinking they're doing better than you. As long as you're doing your best, that's the most important thing. Most of the old moles I know wish they had lived less to their fears and more to their dreams. So try to stop worrying and try to follow your dreams and not be afraid. I'm holding it. No, I don't want the Martha wants to bring the dog in, but I think that the dog and the story might be a little bit too much. So I might have to pause the video in a minute. What is over there? It's the wild, said the mole, but don't fear, fear it. Imagine how it would be if we were less afraid. So try not to worry. Even if we don't know what something is, perhaps being a little bit less afraid will make it a bit more exciting and less to worry about. And here, the boy and the mole in the night sky and the fox is in the snow. And here is where the mole meets the fox. The fox is introduced. And normally a mole would be very afraid of a fox because of a mole would be a prey for the fox, but not here. He's not afraid. I'm not afraid, said the mole. If I wasn't caught in this snare, I'd kill you, said the fox. 
If you stay in that snare, you will die, said the mole. So the mole chewed through the wire with his tiny teeth. So even though he could be scared of the fox, he still saved his life. And he freed him from the snare, from the wire that had him trapped. One of our greatest freedoms is how we react to things, the choices we make. And here now you can see the boy in the mould in the tree and the fox in the snow and his poor prince. I've learned how to be in the present. How? asked the boy. I find a quiet spot and shut my eyes and breathe. That's good. And then? But then I focus. What do you focus on? Cake, said the mole. That's a nice idea, isn't it? Sometimes it's getting a bit much, you're getting a bit worried. You feel like you can't quite concentrate on what you're doing. Find somewhere quiet, close your eyes and breathe and focus on something that you really like that makes you happy. A bit like what we talked about in last week's assembly. What could you think about? What could Charlie think about to stop him turning into an animal? What could keep him calm? Isn't it odd? We can only see our outsides, but nearly everything happens on the inside. All of our feelings are on the inside. All of our fears and our worries, but all of our positive thoughts as well. Oh, they can run this sex for me. Just a little bit now. And then, be careful not to fall. Oh dear. The mole has fallen into the water. But look, who comes to rescue him? Who's rescued him, Martha? You see? What's this? Fox. Fox. And I think, why do you think Fox rescued Mole? Because he liked him. And why did he like Mole? Because normally he'd eat a Mole. Because he ate the wire around the fox. Good girl, because he saved the fox's life and then in return, the fox saved his life. And they're all friends now. So much beauty we need to look after. You can see in the night sky a beautiful shooting star there. Have you ever seen a shooting star, Martha? No. Not yet. We'll have to keep our eyes peeled. And off they go in the snow all together. Being kind to yourself is one of the greatest kindnesses, said the mole. And that's what I'm talking about today, is about being kind to yourself. Looking after yourself, taking time and being kind. We often wait for kindness, but being kind to yourself can start now, said the mole. I think we're just going to finish it there for this week. We're going to finish it there for this week and we're going to carry on next week. So I want you to think about today, the activity, Martha, come and join us please. So this book talks about being kind, being kind to others and being kind to yourself. So I want you to think today for your activity today, what could you do that could be kind? First of all, let's think about something you could do that could be kind to somebody else. What could you do, Martha, to be kind to someone else? Be kind to someone else. Help them when they fall over. Be kind to them. Share your toys with them. Lovely ideas. And how do you feel if you're kind to somebody else? You feel happy. Exactly. So by being kind to somebody else, it makes you feel really happy. So you could be kind to somebody in your house. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to go in today or tomorrow or over the weekend, do something kind for somebody else. And then if you want to, you could take a picture and upload it to Cecil. You could do a, a recording, a video for me or a voice note that tells me what you've done or you could draw a picture and send it in. Upload it onto Cecil so I can see what you've done to be kind to somebody else. But I want you to do two things. One thing to be kind to somebody else and the second thing is something that's kind to you. Take a little bit of time for you and do something that you really enjoy and be kind. Think positive thoughts. Think of something you've done really well this week. What are you really proud of? What are you proud of from this week, Martha? I'm just proud. I'm proud of all my friends, what they've done. How about you? What have you done at school that you're proud of? Because Martha's going to school at the moment in the key, in the community classroom at her school. I'm proud of my work that I've done. Good. The Great well, Fire of London work. Oh, Martha's doing the Great Fire of London. That's right. And if you're working at home, I'm sure there's something that you've done that you've uploaded onto Seesaw, or you've done in your paper work pack that you're really proud of as well. And I know your teachers are really proud because I've seen that work and it's amazing. So be really proud and then do something that makes you happy this weekend. What are you going to do, Martha, that's going to make you really happy? Well, I don't know. What did you want to do tomorrow when you come home? 
Fly my kite. Marcia had a new kite and she really is keen to take that kite to the park. We did it last week, didn't we? And we enjoyed it. Yes. But you could fly a kite, maybe you could do some drawing or read a book or just take some quiet time. And just spend some time just being kind to yourself and saying, well done, you're doing really well and we're all really, really proud of you. But well done, everybody. We'll finish off that book next week. And now is the second part of the assembly. We're going to be celebrating those children who have been absolute superstars with their home learning or in the, in the building this week. So I'm going to look at my list now and we're going to celebrate them in one moment. So hold on a second. Now it's time for us to see who we're celebrating this week, who have been our superstars of the week, making everybody really proud of them. So we're going to start with nursery today. And in nursery, we've got Zoya Ahmed from Nursery Cadbury. Always be prepared for the live sessions. She sits at her desk with her whiteboard and pen ready to learn, contributes to all the discussions, watches the teaching videos and uploads her work to Seesaw every day. Basically doing everything we could possibly ask for. That is amazing. I can just imagine you there, Zoya, sitting at your desk working hard every day. Well done. And then we've got Aya Mahmoudin from Nursery Zephaniah for becoming more confident to speak on the live sessions and trying so hard with all her work and adding on to Seesaw every day as well. What a superstar. Well done. Our nursery children are setting the bar very high for the rest of the children in the school. They're working so hard. I'm really impressed. Well done to the children in nursery. Now in reception, we have got from reception Simmons, Samatar Ahmed. He's always completing all four of the activities set, working so hard, and there's a real improvement in his writing, his reading, and his counting. So Miss Act, I was very impressed with that. All that hard work is worth it. Well done. And from reception what? We've got Yusuf Khan. Yusuf's been working extremely hard since the start of lockdown, always completing the work to the best of his ability. Great support from his family and always making the learning fun for him. Oh, thank you very much for your support there. And we're really impressed with Yusuf's letter formation and number skills, so keep up the good work. So important to keep practicing those things, even though you're at home. Well done, Yusuf. You're a great role model to the rest of the children in reception. And then we've got Sahil Isra from Reception Tolkien. He's been working really hard in all areas, completing his activities in phonics, maths, English, and topic. Well done. Keep up the good work. I'm really impressed with the quality of the work and the amount and the concentration that you have our children in the early years sitting down watching the videos uploading your work to seesaw so proud of you well done to those children we're celebrating this week martha's making a special well done poster is it ready yet oh it's not ready yet sorry but we'll hold it up in a minute i'm gonna give a clap so well done that is fantastic when the poster's held up it's for all the children we're celebrating so don't worry if it's not quite ready from year one, we've got a nomination by Mrs. Rasool here for Umair Ahmed going the extra mile with his phonics work. That is fantastic. That little and often practice of phonics will make a real difference. Well done. And then we have got one Simmons Ibrahim, Ibrahim Mohammed Ershad Jahan for being positive, caring and very hard working. That's very lovely. Really nice to know. Not only are you working hard, but you're also being really kind and caring, just like we were talking about in the story today. From one Cadbury, and, and the, uh, this person is nominated by Mrs B, we've got Yusuf for working extra hard in phonics and recording his sentences for us to hear. That's amazing. I've been on to Cecil listening to some of the recordings of children reading for phonics or reading, and I've been very impressed. It's so nice to hear your voices. Absolutely brilliant. And then in one what, we've got Dua Unisa Ali for going above and beyond and giving 100% in all of her work. Well done. I'm very sorry if I didn't quite say your name correctly there. I think I did. But well done to all the children in year one. We are super proud of you. You're making your teachers and Miss Brinkworth incredibly proud. Martha, is the poster ready? Should we hold it up? Yeah. Okay, get a special well done poster here. Do you want to hold it up? There we go, I'll hold it up. Well done to all the children. You want to give them a clap, Martha? <laughs> Fantastic. And all these children will be getting a certificate in the post to celebrate them. Oh, and there's the other poster that we had to start again because we didn't quite spell the words right. If you don't do it right first time, it's fine to have another go. Okay, in year two, are you ready? We've got Sana Isra who's been working really hard in her reading. She uses lots of evidence to support her reading answers and has never missed a morning or an afternoon live session. That is amazing. Well done, Sana. You've been in every session. Well done. From two Simmons, we've got Ariana Alam for putting in 100% effort into all of her subjects. Well done, that is fantastic, 100%.
from 2T, I can't see it, I can't see my face, see your poster, but that's okay. From 2T, we've got Cyrus. He's been attending the live meetings, completing his work to a high standard and uploading it onto Seesaw. And he sent videos of himself reading and he's using expression to show how the characters are feeling. That's amazing. Well done, Cyrus. I'm really impressed. And then last but not least from 2Y, we've got Ibrahim Adnan. He's a great example to the rest of the class of the high quality work he produces at home. And he attends every live meeting with a big smile on his face. Well, that makes your teachers very happy. So Miss Ward will be very happy to see you smiling in those meetings and to see the quality of the work you're producing as well. Well done, those four children from year two. You ready with the poster, Martha? No. Oh no, she's doing an extra bit to the poster. It'll come in a minute. So well done, those children in year two. <laughs> Fantastic, you can be on, you can do it, show it in a minute. Goodness me, we've got some long uh, detailed reasons here. I need to pause the video, hold on. So in year three, we've got Isa Mahmood from 3 Watt. Isa has shown amazing dedication to her home learning, doing all the work every day to a really high standard. All oh, this sounds familiar, doesn't it? Well done, always on the live meetings without fail. Even when she has to go with her mum to do the drop-offs, she joins from the car so she doesn't miss them. Wow, that is dedication. And sends lovely videos of herself reading, which is wonderful and really cheers me up. I've seen some fantastic videos of children reading on 3 Watt. Well done and well done, Isa. From 3 Zephaniah, we have got Zubera Udin for good work and always striving to present better work over Seesaw. Fantastic, because it can be a bit hard sometimes to present your work as beautifully as you would in school. Hold on, as beautifully as you would in school over Seesaw, but that's really good to hear you're working hard at that. I've got two more, then I'm going to pause. And then from three Simmons, we've got Aman Asif for being resilient, doing his work every day. And when he receives feedback, he will fix his work. So he uses that feedback to improve the work he's done. Well done. And from three Cabri, Ishmael, Ishmael Rahman for working so hard and always putting in 100% effort in all his subjects. And we've got an extra one for year three. Miss Foster's intervention group. Miss Foster's been working very hard with a group of children and she has chosen Inaya Khalid and Three Simmons for excellent reading via the, on the telephone interventions. She's uploaded some phonics works onto, onto Seesaw, which was excellent. And Miss Foster can see you've been working super hard. So well done, Inaya. That's fantastic. And give all those children in year three a really big clap. Can you believe how hard they're working? Yeah, I can't believe it. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing, exactly. And Mrs. Cameron has also given me some information about the engagement. So the number of children or the percentage of children in each class who have been joining in with their live learning, either in the live meetings or in, on Seesaw. And uh, we have, I'm just going to do the top two classes this week. So in second place with 71% of the children, three what? And then with 83% of the children, this is really, really good. Well done. We have got... Three Cadbury, so well done Three Cadbury, you've got the highest percentage of children in year three who are joining on with joining in with the online learning, that's amazing. Right, year four, in year four, for what, we've got Adam M for going out of his way to make sure he's completing his tasks on Seesaw. He doesn't always have a device, so sometimes he has to do his work a little bit later on in the day if he's sharing a device like a lot of you are, but he's showing a real dedication to his learning. Well done, Adam. From four Cadbury, We've got Mohammed Daoud for showing resilience, catching up with his work on Seesaw and being up to date with it. Well done. Just that there. And from Fort Tolkien, we've got Yusuf Ahmed for producing high quality work and paying attention to detail. Very important. And in Fort Yusuf Sai, Isaac Harris, aiming high by recording a wonderful video showing himself acting out the model text. Oh, I'm going to pop onto 4Y and have a look at that. That sounds very exciting. Well done, the children in year four. I can't believe just how many children are being chosen and the really detailed reasons your teachers are giving because they're so impressed. In year five, we've got five singers, Zainab Sajid. Zainab's been a superstar, engaging fully with all aspects of remote learning. She's punctual for her meetings, has her camera on and a smile on her face. Second time that's mentioned. If your camera's on and you're smiling, that makes your teachers very happy. She responds enthusiastically to questioning and volunteers her responses. Her hard work extends to the work that she submits on Seesaw. She's always demonstrating an excellent attitude to learning and a desire to succeed. Mr. Leddingham particularly enjoyed listening to the extracts of her work she's recorded reading aloud, including a class novel and the work in writing. Well done, Zainab. There's a couple of things we could all pick up from here. Big smiles on the faces, doing the best, presenting the work in the best way you can, recording yourself reading. These are the things that your teachers are really pleased to see. Well done, Zainab. That was a very detailed reason for Mr. Leddingham there. So many things he was impressed with. 
And in year five and five token, we've got Zara Hussein. Been making Miss Khan very proud. She's been absolutely amazing. She's so impressed with how much effort she's put into her work. Always one of the first children to attend live meetings and always completes her work on Seesaw. Zara's been trying really hard to complete her work to the best of her ability and always participates in live meetings. Well done, Zara. Very enthusiastic there. You've made Miss Khan very proud. From five years so we've got Hadia Khan. Hadia is one of the first, if not the first, to log on to the Seesaw meet, uh, the live meetings every day. Always ready to learn and eager to ask questions. She's tried especially hard during maths this week to get every single bit of knowledge she can by asking all the questions, big or small. And it's in pleasure, Miss Pizzolini says, it's a pleasure to see how engaged she is. She's resilient and ambitious, with her, and this is shown by her continuous hard work. Miss Pizzolini is very proud of you. And last but not least, in five Zephaniah, we've got Yasin Udin. Been very impressed with Yasin this week. He had a few problems initially with the home learning, but has showed great patience. And now he's got a device from school, he's been able to adjust to remote learning really well. Engaging with his task on Seesaw, catching up the work he missed and contributing to class discussions. Um, Miss Bacon says she knows she can always count on Yasin for an answer. And the class has in, been enjoying the puzzling riddles he's been sharing. Well, that sounds exciting. So well done, Yasin, and all the children in year five. That is amazing. <laughs> and finally, our year six superstars. Let's see who we've got here, who's being celebrated. So from Six Simmons, Miss Iqbal says she is celebrating Marty for being ambitious. Marty is always punctual for online lessons and on task. When cold calling for reading, Marty swiftly picks up and reads aloud and is clear for everyone to follow. He is following home learning expectations by submitting his work on time and completing all the next steps as soon as he can. Keep up the good work. And I think, Six Simmons, I'm right in saying that today, which will be yesterday, when you watch this video tomorrow, you were the first class to get 100% attendance for the live meeting. So that is amazing. Well done. In Six Cadbury, we've got Miss Nea says, uh, Khadija Hussein, always working hard and submitting work on time. Responds well to feedback in maths. Khadija gives detailed explanations how she solves problems during, during live lessons and completing independent work. And then from 6T, we've got Aisha Rusif. Apart from her incredible engagement with all the lessons, she's created a wonderful 3D model of planet Earth to demonstrate her learning in geography about hemispheres, longitude and latitude. Could help me learn some of those things. She sent in a lovely photo and I've seen that. That's amazing. And it made Mr. Yule's day to see a student engage with his favourite subject, geography. Oh, goodness me. That's excellent. So Mr. Yule's a big fan of geography and uh, Aisha is doing amazing work there, an amazing model as well. So well done. That is fantastic. So well done to our children in year six as well. We're really proud of you. Wow. It is amazing. I really enjoy these assemblies because it's so nice to celebrate the children that have worked incredibly hard and have met those kind of really high expectations that we have and been smiling and enjoying the learning as they're doing it and doing their very best, which is all we can ask is that you do your best. So well done to those children. You will get certificates in the post this week and we'll look forward to next week to see who we're celebrating then. So in the meantime, have a lovely weekend, everybody. Stay safe, take care. I'll see you next week.